Hello, let's see how we can create this page turn effect in Canva. Here you see some examples. So now we can go to the Canva homepage and we can choose, for example, social media and let it be Facebook, Facebook post. At first we need to choose photo for a background. Let's go to the apps and photos. And here we can choose any photo. For example, I am searching for little girl in flowers. And I am choosing this one, little girl in the field of flowers. Click on the photo, right button, and set image as a background. Double click, we can adjust position. Okay, now we need add a frame. So let's go to the elements and here we can enter right triangle frame. And here we see frames and this one, this one left and we need to take right. So I am choosing this one triangle and we can add it to the corner. Okay, now we can add photo here. So let's go to the photos and we can choose any photo we want. For example, let it be photo of nature. I'm entering nature and we can choose any photo. Let it be this one. Now double click, we can make it bigger. So double click and adjust. And when it suits us, click near the design. And now we need to add a 10 page element. So let's go to the elements and here we can enter turn page. Choose graphics. And we see here um, page turn graphics. So we can add it but, and here you go. But if you are free users, you don't, you, you didn't find here for free. So you can search this turn page effect on PNG AAA. You can enter page turn and here you find PNG photo. You can click free download wait for 10 seconds and now we can and now we can go back to canva i'm deleting this one pro element and i'm opening my downloads folder and now we can take photo and drag it to canva so we find this element on the left side menu and uploads and images here so now we can Rotate it, make it bigger, enlarge, and we have this trick. Uh, if you don't find this element, I will share link with you. So link you will find in the description. You can click use template for a new design. And here you will find these two elements. So you can use it for free. So that's it for this nice effect. So you can just choose photos, add elements to one corner, or if you want, you can add it to both corners. So I am duplicate. I am click Ctrl plus D and now I am rotated and add to this corner. And now we need add element triangle. So right triangle frame and go to frames. And here we see triangles. So I'm choosing, resizing it a little bit and now we can add a photos. 
Okay, let it be for now this one. I'm adding it to the frame. Now double click. I can resize it, make it bigger. And now let's add the same triangle. Now we can rotate it and add it to the top of the corner. And we can choose the same photo. So click on the photo, rotate them. And now we can add it to this corner. Now double click and resize. Okay, now looks good. Now we can click on the turn page element, go to position and layers. And here we need to adjust our layers. So turn effects must be on the top. And now we can just rotate, make it bigger, align, and we have, and we will have this nice effect. So I hope you like this quick tutorial. Click like and subscribe and see you next time. See you.